In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deactivate WordPress themes via cPanel in your hosting account. This is going to make the front end of your site non-functional. You'll still be able to use the dashboard of your site. The reason you want to do this is usually for troubleshooting problems on your site that you think might be caused by a theme. And I'm going to show you how it works in this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's deactivate the theme via cPanel. Inside a WordPress dashboard, we can see which themes we currently have active or not active by going to Appearance and then Themes. And we see OshaWP is currently active. Aveda is inactive and OceanWP Child is also inactive. You can activate any one of these by clicking on activate that will deactivate the active theme, which is OceanWP. But if you have trouble accessing this area or if you want to completely deactivate all themes on your site for some reason, you can do that via cPanel. I'm logged into my cPanel account right here. This is inside my hosting account. Your cPanel may look a little different than this, but it's got all the same links or most of them anyway and you'll more than likely have a file manager. Mine is right up here. If you can't find your file manager, just go to edit and then find and then find again and type in file manager and it should highlight the file manager on the page. Click on it and we open a new tab with our files. This may open right into your WordPress files or one level up. In my case, it's one level up. So I have to double click on public underscore HTML. This takes me into my WordPress files. Mine has a lot of extra stuff in it because I've been using this demo site for years. Yours will likely have just wp-admin, wp-content, and wp-includes, and a bunch of files below that. None of this extra gibberish. So to go to our, our themes folder, we go to wp-content, open that folder, and then open the themes folder. And here are our themes. The currently active one is Aveda. We can confirm that by going over here. Sorry, it's OceanWP. The currently active one is OceanWP. And here it is right here, OceanWP. To deactivate it, all we have to do is change the file name. Let's click into here. Let's just change this to dash off so we know it's deactivated. Come back out here, refresh. And now we have all these error messages because WordPress cannot run without a theme. But if you're troubleshooting something, this is something you might want to be able to do, what I'm showing you right now. So you can choose to delete the theme or install the parent theme for OceanWP. If we go look at the website, it just has an error message. The theme directory Ocean WP does not exist. And that is how we have no theme running on WordPress. It doesn't really work because WordPress requires a theme. But there are cases, like I said, where you have to be able to do this to troubleshoot some kind of problem or get back into your site if the, if the theme is causing issues. And that's how you do it inside a cPanel. Next up, I recommend you check out this playlist right here, which is the playlist of beginner WordPress tutorials that will really help you get a solid foundation in WordPress so you can create awesome stuff. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. And feel free to check out our Facebook group. It is a Facebook group just about WordPress, full of WordPress users and developers, and we just help each other get better at it. So check that out. There's a link in the description down below. My name is Bjorn Allpass. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.